Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Chicago Detox. What's going on? And today, we're going to be talking about the old, outdated ways of driving revenue here in Chicago. Old school ways. <laughs> and there's two main ways that they're using. That is consumer taxes, like... Yeah, basically taxing the consumers, you know, the actual residents, like, uh, you know, uh, the sweet and beverage tax, you right. know, like cell phone tax, mm -hmm. like usage taxes, you know, stuff like that. And then the second one is, uh, you know, the dreaded property tax, which mm -hmm. is forever increasing. You know? Yes, forever so. increasing <laughs> on the taxpayers who are increasingly becoming older population, our older population are being heavily taxed outside of their fixed income and it's causing more and more of them to lose their property. Definitely. You already know what happened with the, you know, with the housing crisis and all that. So mm -hmm. it's just like, man, like the city need to get it together. You know, like the elected officials, they, you know, they don't really have, they act in order. They just pretty much, I don't know, they, like they just, they don't really, it's like they don't have the, the sense of foundation of how to actually run, do their jobs. You know? Or or bringing <laughs> any revenue, right? Yeah, that's, that's really the, the main thing. Because exactly. it's like, you know, if you think about, you know, the city could, like you said, you could the city could generate revenue because the city generates revenue. It's actually the third biggest city in the United States. Actually, you're right. One. And, you know, they're actually losing uh, residents. It's like the residents are constantly moving out because all the taxes are going up. There's no jobs, you mm -hmm. know, and it's really like no opportunity for, you know, for really none of the people that's trying to come up or do anything out here. So. And so what we're talking about, let's bring it into context, you're having them create revenue, right, to match yeah. all the needs that we have in the city that needs to be paid for. But instead of becoming producers, we're consuming off our own bottom, right? Our, yeah. our, our basic structure is the middle class and, and the poor class. And when we're tax, using taxation as a method of revenue, it becomes a parasitic economy, right? Pretty much. Parasitic means you're sucking the blood out of your own base. Yeah. That, to me, is counterproductive in building a strong city. And then, like, the reality is, you know, like, say, outsiders, and, you know, I won't name drop, but, you know, you like, don't have to they know drop. who they are. You yes, know? they do. <laughs> you probably got an email account through them, or you probably have a prime <laughs> subscription to them. But, yeah. You know, <laughs> but I'm saying, like, you know, companies, like, they come here and they get big tax breaks, you know. Yes. I'm not saying, the you know, not incentives. saying that it's cool, you know, that it's not cool because you mm -hmm. want to actually drive the business to the city. Yes. But at the end of the day, do they really need a tax break, you know? I don't think so. <laughs> like, for me, yeah. if, if we're Chicago and we truly believe that we're a great city and we're the hub of the Midwest, why are we having to beg and plead for companies to come here to bring their business to thrive. That's counterproductive. <laughs> to me, it, it should be an honor and a privilege to be here. Then look at the bid, you know, that they put in for the for the last people that, you know, they basically made the whole United States, you know, put on, you know, just waste mm -hmm. taxpayers' money to, you know, just do all of this stuff to actually make them be like, oh, we're going to put it here, exactly. <laughs> you know. And it's like, that's how the game is. It's like, they already knew what they were going to do, but they knew that they could, you know, put this big, you know, have every have everyone basically, you know, putting on this grand facade. Like, you know, mm -hmm. we're the best city for you to put, you know, this yes, facility please, here. Sir. And we need please. these jobs that you have, you know. Yes. And it's like, come on, man. And, the, and then at, at the end of this pony show, right, then you have a city and they might get maybe, let's say, 15,000 jobs. But was the tax break that could have been going into yeah, that's retraining really, the those people? Those are really the numbers that you need to look yes. at. You know, like, what is the tax break? You know, what is the job? Are these full-time jobs? Are they? Do they have benefits? Do they have 401ks? You know, like, what's what's the reality of the job? Or what's the long What's the long term the benefit <laughs> from giving them this tax break? Are we as a city, as a collective, going to bring back the revenue 
threefold than the tax break we're given. If that's not the case, then we're honestly wasting our time and causing ourselves at a pitfall when we're allowing ourselves to be vulnerable and taking advantage of, of businesses that don't put back into the cities, especially back into the communities that they rob, I mean, that they at, honestly take a tax incentive and then take from the community after, you know, using it for eight, nine years of making money from the community and then bounce to another side of the city, I mean, bounce somewhere else. And, and then now it's a grand opening, like it's a big deal. I feel like businesses that move and hop communities should be have to pay a tax penalty for that. If you're not going to bring in revenue that helps benefit that community, you should be taxed look as at, a penalty for that. Look at Target, prime example. The mm. Target on 87th and 119th in Marshfield Plaza. Mm -hmm. Like Both of them are leaving, you know, and now... You know, the residents are stuck with what, you know. And then it come. I mean, I don't know. It kind of comes to an issue to where is are the actual residents generating enough revenue to help sustain the, you know, the store. You know, because a lot true. of big that's, box that's stores fair, yes. are closing in, you know, in the urban communities, you know. So mm -hmm. it's like at the end of the day, like, that. that's something that you have to think about. But we're not doing their numbers, you know. It might not be in the same sense to where it's like, you know, the numbers are not doing, like, you know, our stores in, you know, this other community, you know? So it's like, uh, uh, I don't know. Like, at the end of the day, like, the city needs to, you know, kind of... Step up. Step up. <laughs> step up. Come up with more... Figure uh, it out. Figure it out and come up with more <laughs> strategies that make sure that if we're going to have, allow businesses or have these new forms of making revenue, make sure that it's not parasitic off the people using taxation. Yeah. Just make sure businesses aren't taking advantage of the communities especially, but Definitely. Chicago and taking incentives that they don't produce back threefold. It should be at least threefold. Definitely. If I'm giving you tax incentives to help you 17 years, I need our, our community needs to be thriving in that seventeen years. Most definitely, because once if it go bad, they just they leave, and exactly. then what? The residents they're out their jobs. I'm quite sure they give them a severance package, or they send them to another you know store in yes. another community. But it's like, come on, man! Like for real, like the city needs to start thinking about that type of stuff. Like you know, instead of you know Sweden beverage taxes, or you know, like come on, yeah. but you know. At the end of the day, like, you know, those are, like, the 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 problems that they're trying to solve with, you know, like, those different methods. It's like, they need to figure it out. So, I think, you know, we're going we gonna to get into, you know, another, another That'll be episode, for another episode where, we, yes. where we, uh, you know, show you our, our uh, modern day solutions that'll kind of, you know, help yes. the problem. So. Yes. So you thanks know. for checking us out on another episode of Chicago Detox. Yes. I'm Roger That, a.k.a. Shystro. Yes, and I'm Chong Marley, freshly known as Wesley Rogers. And this was Chicago Detox. Definitely. Thanks. Peace. Peace.